in a quiet boom state led to two Ikorekpe Young Primary School in Ikorekpe local government area on Saturday, 27th March 2021. It was a moment filled with mixed feelings, joy, emotion, and grief during the funeral service held in honor of a trailblazer, let Senior Elder Ukbong Ekanam. Let Senior Elder Ukbong Ekanam, until his demise, was a serial entrepreneur of repute and a committed Christian who was dedicated to the service of God, his family, the community, and humanity at large. The funeral obsequies conducted by the St. Peter's Apostolic Church, Nigeria, attracted the cream de la cream of the society, including apostles, evangelists, elders, members of St. Peter's Apostolic Church, and others across the country. The political class, in the likes of the senator representing Akwaibum Northeast Uyo Senatorial District and Chairman, Senate Committee on Petroleum Resources Upstream, Senator Basi Albert Arkban. The Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Trade and Investment, Prince Ukbong Akbabio, business associates, relatives, and many other well wishers gathered in large numbers to bid him a befitting farewell which commenced with procession, presentation of corpse, with scriptural sentence. Administrations and the like. Jesus, Reading of biography was done by the delectable daughter of the deceased, Udwabong Ukbong Ekanem. Let Senior Helda Ukbong Ekanem Udo was born on the 15th of May, 1949, into the family of Ndoi Siendem, Utwi Kote Peyong, Ini local government area, Kwaibom State. He was the sixth child of the family, and he lost both parents at a tender age. He was brought up by his uncle, let she judge Udoyante of Ibiaku Ikotede in Ikono, local government area, Akwaibom State. Let senior elder Upon Kanemudo attended Methodist Central School in Donide, 
in the Kotekpene local government area, Akwaibom State, where he obtained his high school living certificate. With this, he was able to read and write. Let senior elder Upong Ekane Mudo learned mechanic and driving from let Mr. Ime Udo Akman from Ipe Udo in the Senuzi local government area, Akwaibom State. After he underwent the training in 1974, his uncle, let Chief George Udo Yangete, bought him a Mercedes 911 t -par, which he used to supply sands and gravels to construction company across then South Eastern States. Since he was a train driver, in the year 2002, he got an appointment with USA company as a Macapolo driver. He conveyed passengers from Uyo, Calabar to Lagos. He later started frozen business in 2010 till his death. Senior elder Ukbong Mudo got married in 1981. The marriage was blessed with five children who are present to bid their hero farewell. He was a caring and a loving father to his children. Senior elder Ukbong Ekane Mudo was dedicated to God and was a committed Christian from his childhood till then. He lived an exemplary life. He was a member of St. Peter's Apostolic Church, Ibiak B. Kotedet, in Ikono, local government area, Akwaibom State. He joined the senior choir of the same church. He was a philanthropist. Senior elder Upong Ekanem was calm, humble, and accommodating. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. After keeping the faith and fighting a good fight, Daddy finished his course at 5 a.m. on the 4th of November, 2020. He is survived by wife, children, son-in-law, and host of other relations, too numerous to mention. Condolence messages were acknowledged. Reading of scriptures. Funeral address. Praise the Lord. We will take our Bible reading from the book of Genesis chapter 81. We will start reading from verse 24 down to verse 42. Mom, go, keep going for Ndenabasi, any ten eleven, a yen aram, and that cook on a yolu. When you want our own yen, etty. Pemidem for Mbagadito, a pediati, a pedi yok ye Jacob. A came laban, awesome Jacob. Jacob oko in one wook ten tessie, cobodoru. Laban co yen di toy tessie, a wook, a came more cobod gilly. Then laban or dog Jacob, etty. Upon a lady, a young ami, or young Adan, the toy by me, or young, verse eighty. Who come a folk, or call young, who return, who for who saw or don't get fear of person, and in cinema folk, or you pay, now passing me, verse thirty three. Then watch a lot of a test yet, as the who yellow bong me, or a man quentin, the daddy, a young, who ran in the Kedo Iban. Delivering his homely on the theme, Don't Be Foolish. The officiating minister, Apostle G.D. Afar of the St. Peter's Apostolic Church, Nigeria, spoke extensively on the foolishness of men who steal from God. Hallelujah. I want to talk on the theme that says, Don't Be Foolish. We have seen also that nowadays, there are some certain characters like that even in the church. There are people who claim to be Christians but are crafty people. There are very many people who claim, who profess to be believers. But when you get closer to them, you discover that they are nothing. Why would you do like this? Why would you fail to be a believer? Why do you fail to be a, 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 a Christian? Why do you fail to be a born again Christian? Whereas you are having another God that you are serving. This is a type of life that Lebanon live. That I want to advise you today that you should not be foolish. Because all the foolish people will go to hell. 
Then came the last honor and prayer for the bereaved family. Finally, the service came to an end with the interment as the deceased was laid to rest. May his gentle soul rest in peace. <laughs> The Cradle TV show on NTA crew had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the following personalities. My dad was a very good man. He called me his mother. I loved everything about him. He was a loving and a caring husband. My mother, who was a good father to us, can go any mouth when it comes to any of his children. And sincerely, I'm going to miss him. But I pray that heaven should have set so, and that was a good guy to all of us, care for every one of us. Uh, one of the qualities is that we play hard guys that always give it to me. Those are the qualities I do. Well, my condolence to over on the demise of his father. He should, as a man, be responsible for the family. So he's in charge of the family now. What I want him to do is to be strong and be courageous. Your father is gone today, but it is incumbent upon you to ensure that his legacy lives on. There are a lot that you are supposed to do in memory of your late father. He has left a very big shoes for you, and then you must live up to the expectation.